Hello, I'm Frank Schottman from AD Distribution. Welcome at Plaza. Uh, we're from AD Distribution, Master Distributes from Hyatt Systems for the UK, France and the Benelux. And I want to introduce you to Robbie Bruce, Director of Software Development of Hyatt Systems, and he will give you a brief overview of the new software of the Hawk 4. So Hawk 4 is, uh, was originally designed to be an extension of Hawk 3 with streamlined uh, programming, quick access, and very easy setup. Uh, the Hog 4 2.0 release is our current release in progress. Uh, the theme of that release is media integration uh, through CITP web services for media servers. Uh, it also includes our ArtNet DMX merge, uh, along with a few other small, smaller uh, uh, features of part of the release as well. Uh, what we're doing moving forward with Hog 4 versus what we had done with Hog 3 is Hog 4 actually has a, a much more iterative development process, so the idea is to get more releases out much more quickly. Uh, our current release schedule, we have a, some coming out next in December, we have stuff coming out in February, we have stuff coming out in April. Uh, but for, for Hog 2.0, we're extending on the, the notion of the media picker, which is uh, for CITP integration as well as custom gobos. Users can import their own coming up in 2.1. Uh, we also included a, in, this is more for the Hog 2 or Hog 3 users, uh, we have a thing called subtractive user kind masking. Uh, whereas when you start to record something into a palette or to a queue, the programmer is smart enough to know what you've programmed and so you take away you can subtract the things you don't want to record into the queue, but we automatically can detect what you think the changes that you've occurred and allow you to automatically record those into a queue. Uh, we have also allow things like the effect rate uh, size to be put onto a master. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of what else we have. But, uh, you want to give them a quick... An OSC? Or, oh, yeah, for the OSC. Uh, we're uh, our Hog 4 is meant to be an open platform, so we integrate with a lot of different devices. We integrate one of the, of the things we integrate with is OSC. OSC is a uh, a standard for replacing MIDI over Ethernet. Uh, this is an example of a of an application you can get on uh, the Apple Store. It is called Touch OSC. You can build your own templates, and from here you can control the output. The controls of Hog 4, uh, just simple, without any development uh, or special development skills. Uh, we also have integration with. Uh, we, we are developing a, a open web interface for the back end of the control system, so you can write uh, HTML pages to actually control Hog 4 as all together. Uh, so we're trying to make it so such a way that we have. We can communicate with anything and everything could communicate with us through either fixture or we have two types of networks on the system, a fixture net or a hog net is what we call it. Uh, within fixture net we, have, we can talk to any sort of external device uh, that, that has a discovery protocol.